Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Star Major. Today I'm here to discuss the riveting journey that the television show Good Morning Miss Bliss went through. Good Morning Miss Bliss was a family comedy show of US origin. Sounds exciting? Let's begin. What was it about? The original pilot for this program was aired on NBC on July 11th, 1987, and the show ran for one season. The series followed the life of a junior high school teacher, Miss Carrie Bliss, played by Haley Mills. She teaches in Indianapolis at John F. Kennedy Junior High School. She often gets entangled in morally onerous situations by her work. What touches the audience is the authenticity that frequently draws students to confide in her, and it would be no surprise if she was the only teacher students trust. Her students and other characters on the show included Zach Morris, played by Mark Paul Glossier. His persona is a fusion. Be it delightful or deceitful miscreant, but a lazy student above all. It is no wonder that he always chased an easy way out for everything. Though, in an episode, Miss Bliss said that among all her students, he had the highest potential. Nikki Coleman, played by Heather Hopper, was a straightforward girl. She always had a strong moral compass and that's how she found herself beseeching others to follow an ethical approach whenever they were planning something mischievous. Next, we have Lisa Turtle, played by Lark Voorhees, who is Nikki's best friend and a shopaholic. She was the heartthrob of the school and without a doubt, many guys had a crush on her. Samuel Powers, or Screech, played by Dustin Diamond, was a clumsy nerd with a crush on Lisa. However, he was a brilliant student with great sincerity. Enter Mikey Gonzalez, played by Max Patimo, a good student, particularly in maths and history. He was Zach's best friend, who wasn't generally that clumsy like Screech, but was quite shy around girls. Apart from these major characters, this show also featured Milo Williams, played by TK Carter, who was a maintenance supervisor. Miss Tina Paldrino, starring Joan Ryan, a friend of Miss Bliss and an eccentric teacher. Miss Bliss often discussed the problems going on in her personal life with Miss Paladrino. Finally, we have the school principal, Mr. Richard Belding, played by Dennis Haskins. Fun fact, NBC president Brandon Tarkadoff revealed that Miss Bliss was the name of his real-life 8th grade standard history teacher. He acknowledged that she was the inspiration behind the show. Why did this show end? After 13 episodes, the show was moved to NBC with the new name Saved by the Bell, the junior high years. The reason behind the cancellation of the show was that after the 13th episode, NBC recuperated the rights of the show. They restructured Good Morning Miss Bliss into Saved by the Bell as a rerun package. The scenes of Miss Bliss episodes were shown in this new series as a retrofitted portion of the regular starting sequence. It was portrayed that they were from a preceding time frame than the rest of the series. Why did the network decide to go Saved by the Bell? The series was originally created for telecasting on the Disney Channel and was unfortunately canceled by Disney. Tarkadoff wanted to run the show again with a different time slot and a distinct approach. So, he convinced the other NBC administration personnel to give a chance to his creation. Ultimately, it was reframed as Saved by the Bell in 1989. Most of the cast was replaced. Only four cast members were transitioned to Saved by the Bell in 1989. Those were Mark Paul Glossier as Zachary Morris, or Zach, Dustin Diamond as Samuel Powers or Screech, Lark Voorhees, or Lisa Turtle, and Dennis Haskins as Mr. Richard Belding. The new series had the four shifting to the imaginary California outskirts of Bayside. Now, let's review why Saved by the Bell became so popular and successful. On August 20th, 1989, the first episode titled Dancing to the Max was released. The series was aired in the time slot dedicated to cartoons on Saturday mornings. The show became famous because of its dynamic mix of comedy, drama, and a corny plot. This thing made it stand out from the usual telecast in that slot. Also, doubtlessly, the kids on the show may have been another major reason behind the show's success and fame. Now, with standing this, do you think Good Morning Miss Bliss could have been as successful as Saved by the Bell if it never ended? Here's what we think. Well, despite an exciting plot, the Miss Bliss series failed to gain a following. Also, it got poor ratings. Disney had already decided against ordering more episodes till the time the last episodes of the series aired. So, the show wasn't that great, but it was responsible for the launch of the much-loved Saved by the Bell. We all watched this as we were growing up. What's your opinion on this? Comment down below. We'll be back here at Star Major with another exciting video. So, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!